Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? Welcome to episode four, January 4th. And it's uh, 2023. And um, today we're gonna check out to see if my furry friends will come out. I've been checking them out for a few days and I haven't seen them so let's see what's going on and I'm going to be knitting and having a little chit chat with you guys and yeah that's what the video is going to be about so how y'all doing let me know in the comments down below okay one second All right, guys, so I just gave them some nuts. Let's see. All right, guys, welcome back. So, hello, everyone on YouTube land. To all my subscribers and my new subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for supporting this channel. And I um, appreciate you guys. Thank you for showing all the love, all the comments. I've been re <laughs> reading the comments, which we're going to go over. Um, over them and um, I just put some food out for the squirrels and uh, I gave him some, some walnuts so let's see if they're gonna come out I've been looking out my window for a few days now I haven't really came out here because I've been walking for a few days at the park at the field and but I've been looking out the window I looked out this morning and yesterday morning I didn't see them so um, we'll see what's gonna happen today um also I went to Walmart and we're gonna discuss about pet food and I'm gonna show you my work in progress on my second Santa slipper which I'm going to be making some of these for next Christmas gifts and I'm going to uh, be discussing about something and then also I'm going to read from prayers and promise for depression anxiety but uh, I don't pay attention that it says I press here depression and anxiety it's actually the Bible verses and devotions that I really like here all right so I hope my camera's not messing up Today in Connecticut is 61 degrees. Here where I live. And it's very cloudy. We're supposed to be getting rain. It's at about 5 p.m. It is 3.42 Eastern time here. I won't take too long. Um, you know, the meteorologists, they always get it wrong. So who knows, it might just rain a little sooner than that. So I got also some cat food. That I bought at Walmart, not advertising or anything like that, just feeding the animals. Um, for the cat that I seen out here, and see if I will see the cat again. This wet, this time I bought uh, the cat food that I bought is the pull out uh, top. So that way I could, as soon as sees the cat, I could pull it out and, and bring it over there and smell the food and come and eat it instead of me trying to open it with a can opener. By the time I open it with a can of open it, she'll be gone. All right, so that's what's here for the cat. Squirrels are all set. And I'm outside, as you can see, the backyard. Um, it's a little noisy in the house. And it's such a beautiful day. After today, the tempers are, temperatures are going to go down to the 40s. So I'm going to stay out here as long as it, until it rains. That's why I'm going to stay out here. Not making the video that long for you guys. Don't worry. But I want to enjoy the outdoors today. So if you haven't seen my Santa slipper. Uh, this is one of them that I made. 
and I'm making the second one to this one which I already started I'm using the red Walmart their name brand um, may stay yarn in red and then I'm using this little this furry white yarn that I love is so it's eyelash yarn very pretty very soft it's so soft guys like really and that one I bought at a thrift store but I think this is from Mary Maxim all right so let me show you my work in progress on the socks and I was gonna start a new socks before I came out here but I didn't have time but I, be, I will be working on that tonight a new pad a new socks that I want to make well they're not socks guys I keep saying socks they're slippers okay so I'm on the 10th row I'm on the 10th row here and I am going in the round without slip stitching that's why I have the stitch marker there so it could remind me that that's the end of that row we're already in six minutes okay so all from here now I have to make I think 18 rows and then I start uh, the heel so it's 18 rows this is all single crochet so I am using a five millimeter crochet hook because that is what this yarn uh, ball band re recommends for this yarn which is a four medium weight I, I like Walmart's yarn I'm going to do a test on this yarn I love their acrylic yarn I'm gonna do a test on it if you guys ever used this yarn before and you let me know how you like it in the comments below and I am going to do a square I'm going to crochet a square and then I'm going to throw it in a washing machine a few times and I'm gonna take pictures of the first time I washed it the second time the third time and see how it holds up yes that's what I'm going to do so how you guys doing how is the new year treating you guys already it's treating me well I woke up this morning that's always a plus <laughs> thank the Lord thank you Jesus cuz Jesus don't wake me up then you know that's it for me he's he's the one that gives us life gives us breath you remember you remember how he created Adam and then he blew into his nostrils. Whew. He gave him breath. Mm -hmm. So all of us have God's breath in us. Yes, God's breath. Because we're all Adam's and Eve's children. No matter what race you are. So, what did I do yesterday? Well, you know, I saw you be having seen my video from January 3rd. It's the one before this one. Go check it out. I appreciate that. They're not very long videos. They're about less than 30 minutes. And um, what did I do today? Well, I woke up this morning and, you know, I already spent some time with the Lord. And I did I did it. Uh, plan to go walking today but I look how but as you can see it's very cloudy here but I did plan to go walking today but what happened was uh, you got to learn to listen to your body so because remember I haven't really exercised that much because I had an ankle injury for about six months I wasn't able to do any type of exercise so I went for a couple of days walking and when I yesterday after I ate and everything my back was so sore I had to have my youngest daughter uh, 
use my massager with that runs in batteries and she rubs it on my back yeah I'm on the 11 growth now so I decided to go straight two days rest on the third day to allow my body to rest because I that was a, that was painful so to allow my body to rest and my ankle so, <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to do it for two days rest on the third do it two more days rest on the third so I am very anxious but I the Bible tells us not to be anxious for anything <laughs> I should listen huh but uh to lose this weight yeah so um so I decided to rest today tomorrow it's supposed to be cloudy too but I don't think we're having rain here so I will be going for a walk even if it rains I'm going for a walk guys can you believe this 60 degrees in January by this time we should have a snowstorm already it's crazy well anyways I read all your comments guys for the past few videos thank you so much guys I do appreciate that I got some nice comments about that video I have that I put up it's about less than a three minute video <sighs> trying to see if I see them I don't there's a huge <clears throat> I don't know if that's their nest but when he says I'm gonna come with my, my phone camera and zoom into it this there's a huge big nest up there that's probably as big as a as big as a probably three gallon bucket and as wide as a six gallon bucket it's, it's huge it's huge so I don't know if they live there but um, I haven't seen any birds fly there or out but I could be wrong so I'm not out here 24 7 so I want to talk about my um, the video I put up. Um, it's like a almost three minute video. I titled it as I was spending talking to the Lord. These two unafraid squirrels. I think something like that's the titles. They're hang, they're, they came to hang out with me. So I read the comments, you guys. I love you guys, animal lovers, just like me out there. Thank you for all the lovely comments. And then we had about two comments that were hilarious. Um, and I didn't mind them at all. One lady said, because I think in the video I said, I said in the video that I'm feeding them nuts. And then I said, oh, he's just staring at me while he's eating his nuts, making sure that I'm not going over there. And this lady responded to that and said, yeah, he thinks you're nuts. <laughs> oh, guys, I do not take offense to that. I love those comments. I was just cracking up. And um, I, my, my daughter read it, and she was just cracking up so you know who you are for putting that comment in there. Thank you so much. It was hilarious. I did. I do not take offense or anything like that. Actually, I like comments like that. Uh, you know, brings a smile to my face. <laughs> well, I want to thank everybody else who commented, who also feed the birds and squirrels and are animal lovers, and they feed them as well. Thank you for so much. Um, straight cats and all that because they do need our help guys now um, I want to talk about when I went to Walmart and I haven't been to the uh, pet land or anything like that but I haven't been to any pet uh, pet stores so I went to Walmart thinking Walmart's going to be the cheapest I went to dry I wanted to buy a big bag of dry food for the cat um, so I could always have it but man the cat supply was low and the cat supply was expensive the dry food bags even the little three pound bag was ridiculous I remember paying like three dollars and change for a three pound of dog food bag or cat food uh, 
and then the like five pounders were like six something oh now i don't i, I feel sorry for you pet owners out there it's getting expensive for your pets might have to cook them more cook give them more home <laughs> cooked meal you know but when you cook meal for your family just throw an extra cup of rice or something in there extra chicken anyways it's cheaper than a I don't know pet food is very expensive so that's why I went and hold on a second this was the cheapest brand um, you remember when we used to be able to buy cat food for like a can of cat food for like 49 cents 39 cents 59 cents well this one was the cheapest I think this one was 85 cents special kitty is called get it at Walmart and I got her four different flavors because I'm not sure what the cat likes so this one is a special supper dinner so it is uh, pate that's what she's getting but I bought one with salmon fish in it. I bought one with chicken. I bought one with, I think, liver. I'm not sure what it was, really. But that was the cheapest one. And I decided just to get one of each. See how, if she likes it. And then I'll know what to get the cat. She or he, I don't know what the cat is. But it's a black and white cat. And I haven't seen it ever since. I, I hope. That someone gave that cat a good home because it's been about a week I haven't seen that cat. But this food would not go to waste. There's plenty of stray cats out there that would appreciate this uh, uh, cat food. So yeah. So she doesn't come back. Then I'll give it to another cat. That's all. But man, the prices are expensive. They are expensive. Oof. I know people that got like four dogs and it must be pricey for you guys but I do applaud you for keeping your pets for those who are keeping their pets in the difficult time that we're having now the difficult time that we're in with all the prices just going up the roof and um, please don't abandon your animals they're like family members I remember when the pandemic started, it was like on the news and everything, how there were people just bringing their dogs to the uh, pets to the shelters. It was just sad because they couldn't afford to keep them because people were not working. We were staying home. So, now. I want to talk about, uh, I, I think, I'm, you know what, I'm going to put a link down below of this video I came across today. Something that's going on, guys, in the UK. And it's going to be global. So, if you're interested in finding out what's going on, Check the link down below. It will be titled. It's from um, the link. The, the video is from um, Doug and Stacy Homestead. Or Off Grid. Doug and Stacy Off Grid. They're homesteaders. Uh, which I love their channel. But anyways. Um, just go check it out. I would, I would say this. It's very important, and it's a short video. It's not a very long video. Yes, so that is something I wanted to talk about. Uh, just to make sure, after I upload this video, I will put the link. I will actually put the link in the comment section. I'm going to pin it. I'll put it in the comment section <clears throat> because I put so much stuff in my description box. I don't want it to get lost. And in there so what I'll do is I'll put it in the comment section guys you go check it out yeah it's very important it is we're already at 19 minutes and 44 seconds okay somebody's out here 
Well, my furry friends are not here, guys. But the food's there if they want it. Hopefully they'll find it before the raccoons do. Or the skunks. Either way, it won't go to waste. I do have to uh, do some stuff for the garden. So here it is. It's growing, guys. It is growing. And I will be sharing this, guys, with you soon. I think I fell a few drops on my head. I told you the weather person never gets it right. A few, a few raindrops on my head. All right, so I think it's going to rain, guys. Stay tuned for the finish of the socks. It will be this weekend, at least by this weekend. I'm going to be starting on a new one. I'm excited. Um, just to give you a tip about... Um, give you a progress update on my top of uh, the knitted sweater I'm doing the back panel just needs a few more rolls and I will be done with the back and hopefully by this weekend I will be casting on for the front part of the, the front panel for the sweater okay so I love this book it's so pretty and I just love the message and the devotions in it if you're not going to stick around or hear this part I understand um, so if you're going to log off I just want to say thank you for being here and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video okay so this is the word fear this is on oh, Second of Timothy's, the book of Timothy, Second Second Timothy, and it is chapter one, verse seven. This is not the King King uh, King James version. This is the NIV. So, God gave us His Spirit. And the spirit doesn't make us weak and fearful. Instead, the spirit gives us power and love. He helps us control ourselves. This one is on Psalms 27, chapter 27, 1, I think, NIV. Sorry if you're hearing like uh, somebody's closing their car door. So the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And then the last one is Psalms 56.3. When I'm afraid, I will trust you. I praise God for his word. I trust God so I am not afraid. What can human beings do to me? Now I read you these Bible verses. I will put them in the description box. Uh, Bible verses. Where to find them in the description box below. And I'm, I'm reading you this because once you watch that video that I'm going to link in the comments. Um, I'm reading you this so you don't have fear and trust in God. For those who have faith and hope in the Lord. The devotional says. Lord of my life. You are my helper. You are my helper. You are my safe place. And my salvation. I come to you with my, with my fear. Knowing that. I should have brought my other glasses. Um. Knowing that in your presence you bring peace and rest, your spirit gives me power, whom I feel hopeless. Thank you that I never need a I never need to stay in a place of worry or despair. When I come to you, let me hear your perfect truth about my life and your good intentions for me fear cannot remain when your perfect love comes in thank you for 
the power of your love what fear can you give to god right now so that is it for today guys here's johnny wants to say hi hey. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be going in because i found i still feel some raindrops and it's cloudy but that would be my video for today i'm trying not to make over 30 minute video so stay tuned for the next video hopefully i can make a video tomorrow i will probably be live tomorrow guys and i would uh put up a um with uh it's gonna be with stream yarn and i'll give you a notice of that all right bye guys take care god bless and have a wonderful day